All right, we turn out to the weather. And Matt, you know, I was saying let's look ahead to the rest of the week. You already said the weekend, so we're going there, huh? Yeah, if it's not Monday, it's the weekend. We're yeah, okay. <laughs> Even if it's Monday, sometimes it's yeah, the weekend. Exactly. Right, Russ Mitchell, that's absolutely right on that. Uh, this depends on your mindset, you know, if you have a lot of work to do or if you want to get into it. Uh, lots of rainbow pictures coming in today. This one came in social media from Anna P. Beautiful shot out of the Brecksville area. Uh, we had a lot of rain falling with the clear skies next to it. Uh, longtime viewer of the show, Carl Bachtel, sent me this one. Uh, also didn't tell me that he was going to put it in his package, so uh, you've already <laughs> probably seen this. So, uh, beautiful shot. Shots, though, coming out of the Akron area today. All the rain has faded. Again, it's driven by the daytime heating. We've lost that. So we are dealing with just a little bit of uh, leftover cloudiness out there. Fog could be an issue tonight. We've got temperatures and dew points that are going to be pretty equal to each other, especially where we saw rain. So likely a little fog out the door tomorrow morning. Maybe a stray shower near the lakeshore, much like we've seen last couple mornings. We're in the 60s. Abundant sunshine tomorrow. Spotty showers. If we have to put tomorrow in a nutshell, this is what we're looking at. Around 80 degrees. Average high this time year, 82. So right on par with that sun isolated rain about 20% coverage on that winds will be light tomorrow and we're going a couple degrees warmer than where we've been over the last few days because I do think we see more sunshine you have to keep spotty downpours in the forecast three words or less quite August day could be a little bit different right could be a lot louder around here with showers and storms we're not seeing that tomorrow here's the low pressure that we've had across the eastern half of the country just spinning around lots of moisture with that off towards the north this is where our eyes are going to turn for the weekend we've got two separate low pressures a lot more moisture with us of pacific origin we've got a low here another one here both of these are very slow movers as you'd expect in august there's really no jet stream to steer these systems they're going to combine so as they join forces over the course of the day tomorrow rain and storms expected to become pretty widespread across areas of Minnesota, the north woods of Wisconsin. This low you think would head east? Nope, it's going to head south and it's going to head south slowly and then it's going to head east and that's the system that we're going to watch this weekend. Again, not a washout this weekend, but we are going to be dealing with numerous showers and storms around here, especially Sunday. So planning it out your Saturday, we'll have some afternoon and evening pops on radar. Widespread mm, doesn't really look like it. Looks like we've kind of tampered down the Saturday threat. Sunday, though, we'll have pretty widespread showers and storms bubbling up. Good chance of rain. So what's that look like on a map? Well, for Friday, not dealing with a whole lot of rain. Tomorrow looks dry as well. But notice on into the weekend. Here you go. Saturday, Sunday, we bring more rain chances in here. It'll be pretty numerous on radar. Could we use the rain? Well, we we certainly could, at least in the short term, those of us that haven't gotten it. But in terms of the long term, this is for the year. We have a surplus in Cleveland, a bit of a surplus in Akron. And look at Mansfield checking in about five inches above average in terms of the rainfall. So you know what? Uh, our ground table, the level or the levels of water down there is looking pretty good right now, all things considered. The mugginess will return as well. Friday, Saturday, we bring back the muggy meter, and that lasts all the way into Tuesday. <laughs> Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. We've got 80s in the forecast with more sun around here tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday should be pretty sunny until the clouds increase and the clouds move in later in the day. And then we deal with rainfall chances. Guys, this next one sticks Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, rain chances are plenty, and then we'll finally dry things out on into next week, guys. Wow, closing out August at the end of that forecast there. I, I just noticed that. That's, I have to go pay my bills now. So th <laughs> thanks, Russ. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Matt.